Right, welcome back everybody to another episode of Now Testify Full Self Driving Beta 10.5. We're gonna go for a night drive. I've established a decent loop and we're gonna check it out at night and see how it does. As a reminder, the blue circle means that it is in full self driving mode, and when it is gray, I've I'm driving the car myself. If I disengage, such as turning the steering wheel, pressing the brake, uh, or even accelerating, wow, that was a quick <laughs> left, all right, that was a quick, pretty aggressive. I'm gonna go ahead and record that. If I press the accelerator, it will report to Tesla as well. So here we got an unprotected left, we got a turn lane. It's kind of like doing this weird creeping. Okay, yep, totally clear. The other interesting thing with this left turn is there is that turn lane that is actually meant, I mean, you should use a turn lane anyway, but it's meant actually for left turns and then to merge into traffic. All right, and we have a yield right here, so in theory, the car should just go, being that it's clear. It typically doesn't have problems with that. All right, coming up on the next two challenges, which really aren't necessarily challenges, but it sometimes will do strange things. So four-way stop, not a big deal. Usually during the day when this is really busy, it can be a bit of an issue, but this should be no problem at all. Perfect. The next challenge is we need to be in the leftmost left turn lane. Sometimes it likes to get into the right left turn lane, and it's having some hesitancy here about being in this lane, but this is correct. This is the lane we wanna be in. What I've noticed during, again, high traffic this lane can be backed up pretty far, all the way back to that, that four-way stop, actually, on a regular basis. And, you know, I guess good behavior is that it should... Oh my gosh, did I get kicked out? Irritating. All right. So, I guess I wasn't paying attention to the screen. Let's see. All right. Anyway, sometimes it gets in the wrong turn lane, and then because it's such a quick, short lane before you have to be in this left lane in order to get on the route we're going, uh, it has to merge. And people around here aren't the, the nicest about letting people in to merge, so it can be also a challenge. Okay, here's the next challenge. It has no reason to stop here. Um, again, it's another yield merge thing from a traffic circle, which is very odd. So I did hit the accelerator there. We do have a car behind us. So, um, not terrible, but it is very hesitant at that, um, at that intersection. With the merging behavior, which it is odd. I, it is a very strange traffic circle merging with traffic onto this bridge it's it is definitely odd and it, it definitely confuses human drivers all the time so okay we got a green arrow here so that's good all right so unless anything interesting happens um for the next bit I'm gonna go ahead and we'll double speed this we'll see you at the next turn while wow, we've got uh, another block or two before the next turn 
I did want to mention, you know, the nags, uh, especially the one we just saw before we were getting onto the bridge there, happen at the most inconvenient time. Always on a turn for me. I'm not entirely sure. In fact, my very first drive, which you can go back and watch that video, I'll put that up here. Uh, you'll my, I got kicked out of full self driving because it was trying to make this wonky free right. There was a bunch of traffic. I was watching to the left to make sure that it wasn't going to go at an appropriate time, and it was nagging me to turn the wheel during the turn. I'm not going to turn the wheel during the turn. What a load of crap! So anyway, there's another example on that one. I was turning as well and it wanted me to turn the wheel. So anyway, right turn here, super simple hasn't had a problem does it a, a little bit aggressive but you know that's not bad a little acceleration down the hill next challenge this is a right turn only and we need to go straight it has never done this right so it hasn't we're still in this lane and it's gonna yeah so I'm gonna record that that is we need to take a right turn there um, so, yeah, unfortunate. Um, but it's done that every single time. I'm not, I'm not sure. I thought it could read the arrows on the ground, but apparently not. So, all right, we're going to go to the end route, way back. So, uh, this is my loop. I'm pretty straightforward. I'm going to be trying to do this on a regular basis. And, uh, actually had a daytime recording that was really a good recording there was some interesting interactions there um gopro man i don't know messed up the files on me but i use this as a good opportunity my last drive was during the daytime as well fairly easy drive and very straightforward and long There is a pedestrian there. I barely saw him, uh, but Beta saw him, so that's good. All right, here is another unprotected left. Um, again, usually during the day, this tra this intersection is uh, actually a fairly difficult left to make just because of traffic, but we're pretty clear here, so it should have zero problem checking. It should totally go. Has no reason to not go. Okay, there's a car coming. I'm in the middle of the road. Again, since there's not really any traffic, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. And it's just, yeah, that's terrible. I pretty much did that same thing during the day drive as well. You got to, I mean, it's a lot like Chuck's lefts, except not nearly as fast. Shout out to Chuck Cook. Uh, definitely go watch his unprotected left videos. He's got a great setup there, and it's really interesting to see the behavior over time. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was in the middle of the intersection there, as you saw, no traffic. It, it literally should have just gone without issue, um, but was just extremely hesitant. And in case you were wondering, uh, there are some uh, profiles I can be in. Um, as far as the assertiveness of the beta system as apparently. And I'm in the assertive mode, so really shouldn't, um, sh should be assertive, right? But uh, it is still very shy on that. Um, and again, my daytime drive, this lane can be very difficult to get in. It's usually also backed up with traffic quite a bit. And uh, the last daytime video I did, uh, it, it's, it was in the left-hand lane because it couldn't merge, but eventually uh, was able to merge after putting on its blinker. And then again, luckily we had a nice driver that let us in and he even honked at us. So uh, so this can be another challenge during the daytime. But, um, you know, this is interesting because we're giving Ben a really good opportunity to make these decisions with light traffic, uh, and the really the only challenge is uh, being at nighttime and its visibility, which perfect visibility today, not an issue. 
All right, so on ramp, Cloverleaf on ramp, there is no traffic to yield to, so it does not need to slow down like it is here. I'm gonna press the accelerator because it just should go, and I'll also report that. And it does need to be in this left-hand lane because we will be taking a right and kind of similar to getting onto the bridge. Uh, we just need to be in this, this lane for our turn. And we'll see if it does its, what it's typically done. And I'll uh, walk through that as we move forward. And there it is. So it likes to make this lane change. So one, I don't know why it needs to make this lane change in the middle of the turn, right? But then immediately after it takes the exit, it gets in this outer lane. It's ridiculous. And uh, it really is uh, just a terrible, so terrible experience. Uh, drivers behind me are, you know, I'm sure thinking I'm crazy. And look, did you see that? There was a nag. During a corner turn, I don't want to be nagged when the car is turning. That's completely unintuitive. I mean, I don't like the nags anyway. I understand them, but when the car is turning, I really shouldn't be nagged to be doing the turning either because, you know, I'm trying to also watch traffic. All right, okay, so a weird slowdown here. It really has no reason to slow down. Um, it wasn't quite phantom braking. It almost feels like, you know, there's some more just jankiness there. So a little goofy on that uh, exit. And a little goofy on the turn. It made it just fine. It was within its lane. And it, it does like to get into this rightmost lane, which is fine. This is the appropriate way, right? You turn into the the first available lane. Um, but then here we have to merge over, which again is fine and did it appropriately. Okay, so that's my loop, pretty basic. Um, but again, some challenges there that uh, it's, it seems to be repeating. And so it will be really interesting to see the progression on my loop, my test loop here, uh, to see over updates when, uh, when those come through, how that changes, if at all. Um, and even on some of those those um, challenges that I've had, it will it, even during 10.5 it has done some diff made some different choices. Uh, for instance, one time it just decided not to take that bridge exit. Right, like uh, we were on the bridge and, and you know how it shifted lanes. It like decided too late that it was uh, going to take that exit and got stuck. So and just kept going. <laughs> so it totally messed up our loop um but and yeah it's gonna go for it on this left hand arrow okay so that was assertive for sure <laughs> uh, but that will do it for our video um in our our loop um come back i'll be doing this as new updates come out and under different conditions etc winter is coming so that will be interesting as well thank you so much for watching thank you so much for my subscribers I can't believe that I'm almost at 100 subscribers already. F absolutely fantastic, you guys are awesome. Please keep watching, commenting, let me know what you think, um, give me your impressions, um, anything, you know, I will definitely respond to you. Uh, again, thank you all so much for watching uh, and we'll see you in the next video. And let's testify.